Hey guys, it's Will here, and in case you didn't see the message today, um, Games Workshop announced today, Saturday the 22nd of April, that they are bringing out a new edition of 40k. Now this is something we've kind of speculated on for quite a while. Um, I'd heard release dates as early as October last year, obviously that didn't happen, but they've officially announced today they will be doing a new edition. Uh, they're not called an 8th edition, but they didn't call 7th ed 7th ed, so uh, yeah, it's it's, uh, it is coming and they are calling it a new edition not a new game um, so basically what I want to talk about today is just a few things um, that they've said in their uh, their article that they've put up today and uh, my thoughts on a little bit of that I'm gonna try and keep it fairly short because I've had some trouble with my bandwidth and it's taken me forever to upload anything at the moment bit of advice if you're in the UK and looking for broadband don't go with talk talk they're useless Anyway, um, so new edition of 40k, they are the article they put and the FAQ attached to it. Yes, they, they've already done an FAQ about the new edition before it's even out. Um, talked a lot about making the game easier to learn and pick up, um, and potentially quicker to play, um, but while still maintaining the strategic and tactical depth. And they're saying it's it's not being dumbed down. So uh, quite how you how they've done that I don't know we'll have to wait and see um, there's certainly things they they could do they've talked in the past about possibly um, having uh, armor save modifiers rather than uh, getting rid of armor saves based on an AP value um, so that looks like it's a thing and um, movement values coming back in some of the changes that they're uh, they've been brought in but they've not cited any specific changes in this article and their uh, their new FAQ just uh, talking about things that um, sort of general themes and there's a real thrust of talking about listening to the community and feedback and you get the sense that they have kind of learned some lessons based on the the big backlash they had when Age of Sigma first came out so uh, they've made it very clear that they are not getting rid of points they're going to introduce the three ways to play that they've got in Age of Sigma at the moment which is open narrative and matched and essentially the vast majority of certainly pickup games um, in Age of Sigma are matched play which is the version that uses points now one key difference they have said is that your current codexes are going to be um, incompatible with the current edition which is a shame because you know that's a lot of resource and a lot of material but you know I think a lot of players want their codex replacing anyway um, Orcs, Chaos, Tyranids I think would be quite happy to see the back of their codex Tau and Eldar, Marines possibly not so much um, but uh, yeah so the codexes are going and they're talking about a new set of rules the core rules are going to be free and then there's going to be a full rule book so i imagine the core rules will be enough to play a game with and then expansion expanded rules to cover a wider variety of scenarios maybe different game types etc um, and they are going to redo rules for all the current models right from the get-go in what they describe as low-cost books now quite what low cost means I don't know I don't know if they know yet because they haven't set a, a date on this but um, they are saying that right from as soon as it comes out you know you're going to be able to get hold of the rules for all the existing models in the range um, at a low cost and they've also made it very clear that they're not blowing up the universe and starting again like they did with Age of Sigma they are uh, they are progressing the fluff but we've seen that recently with the Gathering Storm anyway so uh, that I don't think will come as too much of a surprise it's kind of we expected the backstory to roll on it's been at one minute to midnight for 30 years now it's time to uh, move on and see what happens so uh, yeah that's exciting the, the narrative moving on I'm very pleased to see um, talking about making the game easier to learn and quicker to play can certainly be a good thing for encouraging new players into the hobby and also speeding up game times because I don't know about you but of late I found a lot of my games have been running really long on time just because there's now so much complexity to the game and it's complexity that as an experienced player I enjoy and 
but for newer players, less experienced players, people trying to pick up a new army, um, it can really drag the game out. Um, and you know, you don't want to begrudge these people, you know, for playing slowly because they're trying to figure out the rules in their army. But having something that's a bit easier to pick up um, might be good. Uh, but they're still talking about having depth and complexity for the, um, you know, for the people who want that. So it's, uh, yeah interesting times um it sounds really good i say they've been very keen to make sure in the article that some of people's key concerns are addressed like the validity of their existing models acquiring the rules at a relatively low cost at least for the get start rules and them not completely rewriting the fluff um, and points are still definitely a thing in with matched play so we will definitely still have points values Although I wonder if they will be more like points are for Age of Sigmar now, where you pay a fixed number for points for a fixed number of models. So uh, a Space Marine Tactical Squad, you'd take five or you'd take ten. You wouldn't take between five and ten. You'd take five or ten at a fixed pot price point, which could make list building a little bit quicker and easier to manage. But we shall see how that, that pans out. Um, yeah, I I am worried about how they're going to change the rules. They have said they're, uh, it will still be recognisable as 40k, um, so hopefully it's not going to be as big a shift in the rules as Frage of Sigma, um, but we shall just have to wait and see. So uh, yeah, that's what we know so far. Thanks a lot for watching. I Like I say, I'm going to try and cut this fairly short. Um, if you've got any thoughts, um, leave them in the uh, comments below. And I will try and put a link in to the, um, the article in the FAQ that GW put out today. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'd encourage you to check it out.